Hello everyone. Uh, welcome. Quickshot 14 here. Uh, Quick 14 blog. Uh, a fee blog uh, basically about the programming and about my system real quick. Like I said, this is not exactly like your standard uh, 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 v-blogs that I've done before. Kind of mixing it up, changing things up a little bit. Uh, so we shall see uh, how this all goes. Uh, first I want to talk about a little bit about my computer upgrade like I told you guys about details. Uh, needless to say, as most of you know who have been watching the vlog and such, uh, taxes were very, very kind to us. Uh, so I was able to actually uh, pretty much build a nice gaming machine, uh, which is also nice for uh, what I do with the vlogs and things of that nature. I am running a dual screen setup. You can't see it because we're just on the first desktop, but I can switch over uh, to the other. Hold on a second. See if I can do that mid recording, uh, if it'll let me. Uh, it it kind of stopped it, but that's okay. As you can see, this is monitor 2. Uh, basically, this is the old monitor that I was using. Monitor 1 is my new uh, monitor, which is 24 inch LCD. Very, very nice. This is monitor 2, it's an extension of my screen. A few, some of the things up here you can see I have debuted up here, which I'm using to record this, of course. I have a, a few gadgets and things laid out here in order to make things easier. So if you're wondering where those were, they're on my second monitor. I have a nice uh, thing to keep track of uh, information about my processor and my uh, graphics card, which I'll, I'll talk about real quick. My my graphics card is actually uh, is SLI'd, and I do have two of them, of course, since they're SLI'd, uh, as NVIDIA, NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GTs. They have one gig of memory a piece, and uh, they're, they rock. It's really, really neat to be able to play a lot of these games and, and watch them kick butt. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, minimize this for now just to remove the mirroring effect and hopefully increase frames per second. And over here I have my actual uh, processor information. I do have a quad core, uh, which is an AMD Phenom 2. Uh, it's a 3.2 gigahertz. It's the black uh, block box edition, if you will. Uh, this is a really cool. Uh, thing actually it runs really great uh, temperature can get kinda high sometimes but not too bad it's definitely below its limit so that's good uh, and this thing can can run uh, when I'm encoding and stuff it's really really awesome and it, it does a good job the cool part is is, is uh, it just it, it, it's dropped in my encoding time by half honestly at least especially for vblogs I mean seriously it used to take an hour uh, to do most WoW V blogs, and now it takes about half that time, about a, about a half hour, which is which is great. Uh, saves me time, saves you guys time, allows me to do this a lot more. Obviously, this V blog is not a normal standard V blog where I do in Premiere. Uh, this pretty much will be straight encoded using ABS. I also have my memory information here, my physical memory usage, and my page file usage. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I, I have a few other gadgets that I use to help things out, but. But that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing too huge, really, to talk about there. Let me go ahead and switch this back over to, uh, whoops, back over to my primary monitor. Which of course, stop recording, so I have to start it again. So that's my second monitor. You can pretty much see the dual monitors here. Uh, my primary monitor is right here, of course, and I have everything I need here. Um, real quick, just to finish up on on my upgrade. Uh, obviously, I am running Windows 7 uh, Professional. Uh, you know, not release candidate anymore. As you can see, it's not there no more, uh, so, which is great because it kind of expired. Of course, the beginning of this, well it didn't expire, but it started a two-hour reboot at the beginning of this month. Uh, so that has been done. I also have three hard drives. I have 160 gig uh, IDE hard drive. Um, primarily, all I'm using that for right now is for actually my Windows XP partition at the moment which I don't do much with since Tear From The Deep is, is fairly much over at the moment. But I do have that. Uh, and then I have two SATA uh, one terabyte hard drives. And uh, that's what I use for majority stuff. <laughs> I'll say it's been pretty sweet. Uh, it's nice to have tons of room. Not to mention I can record and, and really not worry about space as I had to before. As for my old booter, uh, where is it at? Well, I went back to my wife. It was hers originally anyway. So that that's the gist of uh, of my my new computer. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get down to the grit of uh, what we're here for. Uh, you guys voted for it, wanted to see it, which is really cool. So I'm gonna basically, <clears throat> excuse me, show you my programming. Um, oops, that should not be on fraps. <laughs> it's supposed to be 
here. Uh, the first thing I did was, uh, I, you know, I, I've been playing around with VB.NET for quite a while, and, and it's pretty standard for a lot of programmers to start VB.NET, uh, especially if you go to a school and you're taking a programming associate's degree or, or anything higher. You, you're probably going to start with VB.NET. It's very common. And uh, and I've been playing around with it for quite a while since VB.NET came out, even a little bit of legacy before VB.NET. And, uh, and I've been really wondering, and I, I got inspired by a lot of... Uh, a lot of different YouTube uh, videos of game diaries of people stuff uh, doing C++ and things of that nature uh, Gyro Vorbis or Elysium Shadows is the stone and also uh, Moon Seder who also has a great series of tutorials for those who know C++ and uh, want to get into game programming at the basics of starting that. Really great. Uh, it really inspired me to find something for Visual Basic .NET and <coughs> excuse me, as you guys know uh, most of you do, I, I found a great book online and uh, ordered it, and I'll try to have some of these in my notes or on my v blo on my blog. Sorry, of links to to these books for you guys. So uh, I went through the book, finished it out, and pretty much when you're done, you're gonna come up with uh, with basically this final engine here. Uh, it's definitely not complete, but it gives you a great starting point, and you, you're learning a lot of the basics. Uh, the reason I'm pulling this from from the actual disc. Uh, from the book is because I I modified it so much I don't have the original and I really want to show you what it looked like before I've started adding and, and modifying it. So here we have the actual project. You can see all the different form uh, different classes basically uh, that we're using the actual solution etc. Uh, I'll go ahead and run it and show you what this originally looked like before any of my modifications and what I've added and what I've changed and, and basically what I'm working on now. This will give you guys a good uh, a good starting point of knowing w what it looked like and, and how far it's really come and, and what things are going. So basically what it does is it has a nice intro screen here. It has a choose a character, basically very simple stuff. It's loading the map in the background. It's a huge map and they mainly he mainly wanted to show that as you can see by the size here. Holy crap. Come on, look at that. It's like five, almost six megs. It's a huge map, tile map. And the main reason he did that was to show that there is really is no limit uh, to this. And I know it looks a little slow because the frames per second for recording, but just to let you guys know, I know you can't really see it, so let me just let me just move this over here uh, if I can. As you guys can hopefully see, you can see it's running at a nice brisk. Uh, 32 frames per second. So if it looks slow and it looks choppy, it's just the recording. <laughs> so <clears throat> here we are in the game. It's just standard tile scroller, very, very basic stuff. We have some enemies here, some basic inventory, some actual stuff. I can actually fight these guys. You know, I can do some damage. Very basic stuff is all this is, and you basically learn it, and he gives you some ideas on it, and you go from there. There's not, there's no collision with these guys, but there is collision with the scenery, so I can't walk through it and things of that nature. Uh, very, very, very simple stuff, just to, as a starting base for you to really work on it, and uh, it's really, really cool. Now, it, it's interesting to note that your uh, your actual uh, character here, our tune, if you will. Is, is stationary. You're really not moving on the screen. You're centered on the screen and the actual tiles are moving on it. And, and the reason I mention this is because you'll see I've actually changed that and added to it. So this is pretty much it. Information in the upper left corner is just for information for me. Basically getting the, the scroll is the actual scroll location uh, of, the, of the tiles and then the, of course the actual tile location and then actually what tile is underneath my feet right now which is 143 at the moment. I go up here, it's 92, you know, I go up here, it's 71, 31, 31, so on and so on. So, that's pretty much all it is, and I mean, this covers like a little under 500 pages, uh, but it, it's going to give you basic stuff, you're going to start with um, basics, visual basic.net, so if you've done some stuff, he's, he isn't going to give you the very bare bones of VB.net, but he will give you kind of a crash course uh, some of the basic stuff. So if you've never played with VB.NET and you just want to check this stuff out and you really want to get into it, uh, go by all means. I, I look at this as not a uh, this is what I'm going to program in for games forever sort of a mode. This is pretty much what I'm starting with and I will move on 
from there basically is how I look at it so that's what you started with or what you end with really and there's of course a whole bunch of tech demos and you guys have seen that uh, uh, whoops I didn't want to do that uh, what we actually I'm actually at right now is about here and as you can see it's changed considerably we still have some stuff that looks very familiar but there's a lot of changes a lot of changes I've done and much much different obviously I've started as a new project and I brought it in but th there is a ton of changes so let's go ahead and just hop into the game and take a quick look at exactly what I've got here <laughs> 